Good evening. In your business news tonight, we start off with this international story. BHP Group announced a strategic focus on expanding its copper business through current and upcoming projects following a failed acquisition bid for Anglo-American. The company reported a 2% increase in annual underlying profit, surpassing expectations. Moreover, despite declaring its lowest full-year dividend since 2020, BHP's final dividend of $0.74 cents per share and full-year dividend of $1.46 remain among its top four historically. Investment research analyst Zimela Mbonjo provides further insights on the company's strategy. In the context of the structural, commodity and economic downturn that uh, you know miners and commodity producers have had to endure, this was a very uh, resilient result by, by BHP. Profitability and revenue were up, uh, supported by strong uh, pricing for iron ore as well as uh, copper, uh, which was more than enough to offset weakness in coal and nickel prices. Uh, the group was able to generate uh, quite strong cash flows, um, which it, you know, enabled it to be able to invest more into the future facing uh, assets of the group particularly, you know, potash as well as uh, copper, while also paying down debt, while also being able to return value to shareholders via a dividend. Uh, the outlook remains a bit uncertain, uh, with oversupply of iron ore expected in the near term. Also uncertainty around the Chinese economy may affect prices and demand for the group's assets. However, um, the management seems very confident and energized about the long-term outlook of the company and its assets.